Hello everyone. Welcome to another RoboDK video tutorial. I'm Yen, and in today's video I'll be walking through the necessary steps to create augmented reality videos with RoboDK. Let's begin by launching RoboDK and enabling the image processing editor. This can be done under Tools, Add-in Manager, and in the Legacy Apps tab. Simply select the image processing editor add-in and click on Enable. With the add-in enabled, we can now use the Fiducial Marker Generator to create a variety of custom OpenCV markers for pose estimation. As of summer 2023, RoboDK supports Aruko, Cheruko Board, Diamond Cheruko, and Checkerboard markers. These markers can be customized and exported using two methods. The first is saving the marker, which creates a PNG file perfect for importing back into a RoboDK station. The second option is to copy-paste the marker into your application of choice to be formatted, resized, and printed as desired. With the marker now saved and printed, the next step is preparing the RoboDK station for augmented reality. To do this, open the station of your choice. We can now begin the preparations by creating a reference frame for our marker. You can then import the PNG as a child of this reference frame. Select Open in the toolbar to import the marker and drag it into the reference frame. Or simply right click the reference frame and select Add Item. The marker now needs to be scaled to the dimensions of the printed marker. In this tutorial, the printed marker is 207 by 207 millimeters. You can measure the virtual marker to determine its size. Then, divide the printed marker's length by the virtual marker's length to determine the scaling factor. In this case, the scaling factor is 1.3. You can now double-click the marker object and, in the Details panel, click on More Options and select the Apply Scale tool. After inputting the scaling factor and selecting OK, the virtual marker should now match the dimensions of the printed marker. It is good practice, however, to double check that this is the case using the measuring tool. To ensure the accuracy of the render, the reference frame needs to be placed in the center of the marker. For the best results, the marker should also be oriented to match the printed marker. This can vary by project, but in this case, what is most important is that the y-axis of the reference frame, the green arrow, lines up with the top ID, and that the x-axis, or the red arrow, points towards the rightmost ID. We can now position the marker frame in the station. The virtual marker acts as a reference point for the AR render, with the object positions determined by how the virtual marker is oriented in relation to the printed one. As a pro tip, you can hide your virtual marker under objects in RoboDK to occlude the printed marker in the render. When done correctly, this can hide all signs of a marker from the final AR video. Navigate to the image processing editor in the toolbar and select Add a RoboDK camera. This virtual camera is necessary to create a new image processing pipeline. You can move the camera so that the marker is clearly visible in the camera preview. It is very important to ensure that the virtual camera resolution is the same as that of the input video. By right-clicking the camera preview and selecting camera settings, you can modify this resolution. In our case, the input video is a vertical 1080 by 1920 feed. You can also adjust the working distance to 20,000 to get a better idea of which objects will be rendered in the final output. We can now create our pipeline. Navigate to the Image Processing Editor and select the Image Processing Editor tool. To begin, select the virtual RoboDK camera we have just configured. Then, under Detectors, select the appropriate fiducial marker. Once again, ensure that the marker properties align with those of the printed marker. In this case, the checkerboard squares of the diamond marker we printed have a length of 69 millimeters and each marker has a length of 42 millimeters. Before saving this pipeline, however, a calibration matrix needs to be defined. Doing this manually can be very time consuming. However, we include a generic calibration option which is accurate enough for most cases. Select this option and save the pipeline to the station. 
With all the building blocks in place, we can now create our AR video. First, hide objects you would like not to be rendered by toggling their visibility. In the Image Processing Editor toolbar dropdown, select Augmented Reality Video, then select your pipeline, the reference frame containing the marker, find your desired input video, and select a location and name for the output video. Take note that the new name needs to include the MP4 extension. You will now be able to observe frame by frame as the video is rendered. Any changes made in the station will be applied directly to the feed. If there are any undesirable effects or missing objects, we can modify the station live until the output is satisfactory. For such cases, the render can be easily stopped by clicking on the render preview and pressing the escape key. Once everything is as expected, allow the video to render in its entirety. And just like that, we're done. We look forward to seeing what you create with this new tool and hope to expand its features and performance in time. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos. And on behalf of the whole team at RoboDK, we wish you a happy automation.